Hey guys, I wanted to show you my latest purchase. Um, this is the Cruiser Cargo Trunk Trailer. And I got it for about $155 on Amazon. It was on sale, normally um, $200. It's a really well-designed and well-built trailer with one exception, which I'll try to go over. It's kind of neat. It's got the swing arm that attaches to the bike. And when you want to use this trailer as a, as a hand cart, you just put that pin in there like that. And then just fasten it in. And then you can just walk around um, and hold this end up, which is kind of neat because I intend to uh, ride this up to the grocery store, or haul this up to the grocery store, and then once there I'm going to put it in hand cart mode and I want to use it as a shopping cart, which is going to allow us to not waste gas just going to the grocery store and haul as many groceries as I normally would. It's got 16 inch pneumatic wheels excuse me, tires, um, which are good for two, two reasons. One, bumps, and two, it'll be a little bit lighter. It's really well designed. It's got these little hand screws here that um, take the hand, the cross brace out. See? And we'll get that. And what that allows you to do is pull the trailer down. You see how flat it goes. Now these wheels come off as well, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute which will also allow me to explain the one thing that I, I didn't like about the trailer. And it's not a design flaw, it's more of a quality issue. I'm a little disappointed in that, but I was able to make it work and I'll, I'll tell you how. So, the trailer can haul 66 pounds, but I might put a little bit more than that in there to see. It's got this, uh, looks like a canvas tarp that fits over it color for the rain, which is kind of nice. Now you've already seen it fold down for the most part. These, these axles also come out of here. And let's see, which one? Okay, I think this, this one's the one I had to fix. So you just pull these pins out, and that's the tape. This is the loose one. You just pull these little pins out like this, and then the whole wheels come out. Now on one of these, I think it's, I don't know which one it is. I had to take an adjustable wrench and put it on there and bend this down. It's actually this one. That's why this is tight. To make this fit in. It wouldn't fit in at first. And that's just a flaw when they when they drilled this, when they made this. So I'm a little disappointed in that. But other than that, I can see that it's really well made. And I'm happy with my purchase. So I just wanted to go over with you um, the trailer. If you check online, um, check the reviews on this you won't find bad reviews on this which is rare and anything you you always find bad reviews you might find one but the rest of them are all going to be positive this this gets really positive reviews and I can see why it's well designed well built and I can't wait to try it out okay let me just show you this I've got it hooked up to my Schwinn bicycle here it's got this little hitch goes on to a square post and the safety pin goes down and then it's got this extra safety strap, kind of like your car would have safety chains on the trailer. So uh, that's how it hooks up. Now let me show you what I intend to do with this guy. So, there we go. Now the reason I bought this is I wanted to do some bike touring with it. So what I intend to do is take John and I's both of our backpacks and throw it in the back of the trailer. And then uh, do a touring with it. That'll be about... It says it can hold 66 pounds. That's about what our packs will weigh, maybe a little more. So I want to do some touring on the Great Allegheny Path, and I want to pull this trail along when we're on the NCR Trail. So this allows us to cover more distance. And then with our packs, we have all the supplies that we need. Um, now the second thing I plan on doing with it is I plan on riding my bike with the trailer attached to the grocery store. And this should hold a lot of groceries. And since this part, if the swing arm can come up and then it can be a hand cart, I'm going to push this inside the uh, store and hopefully load it up with groceries in there. So that'll serve as our shopping cart and the way to get the groceries back from the uh, store efficiently without uh, using fuel. So I'm very pleased with it, uh, with that one exception that I showed you, how they didn't drill the uh, one side right for that axle. But otherwise, I'm very pleased with my purchase. I'm glad I got it and I can't wait to try it out.